very talented. He's really good. Uh, he's got a lot of good tunes. He's only just started to try and do lyrics. But he, apart from him physically looking like John a bit, with his glasses and long hair, he really isn't anything like John. Much as gentle, a softer person. John was like very tough. Mm. I mean, he had that ability to be gentle and soft and was lovely. But he was, you know, he was acid too. I mean, that he, he gave that hard edge to the Beatles. You know, a sort of um, an orphink. <laughs> As Papa, I would say, he was an orphan, you know, he, well, I mean, he didn't, his, his father left home, and, you know, like you've heard the songs, Mother, you left me, but I didn't leave you. You know, much harder, tougher person, Julian is, you know, gentle, and so I don't think there's any comparison, and it's unfortunate that, you know, that Julian is allowing himself to be, uh, you know, interviewed or put in the newspapers and all that. We, I mean, it started, I was 17 when I first went, we went to Hamburg and got, we were given a job in the Reeperbahn, which is the naughtiest part of Hamburg. Mm -hmm. And uh, they booked us for eight hours a night and then the club we were in had to close down, the police shut it down, so they moved us into another club where there was another band also booked for eight hours. Mm -hmm. So instead of giving us four hours each, we started at two in the afternoon, did an hour, and they did an hour, and we did an hour, and we went right through. Second week of doing that, around about the sixth set, when we were flagging a bit, and the boss of the club, who was a bit of a gangster, brought all his gangster pals in, saying, you know, wanted us to jump up and down. Paludin, Paladin, which were women's slimming pills, and we'd take them and froth at the mouth and leap up and down, singing, what I say? And uh, then they invented marijuana and we, somebody gave it to us and we smoked it. And the best thing about that was that we used to drink whiskey. And the moment marijuana came, we just knocked the whiskey in the head. Mm. But you know, it's just like anything. It was not bad. I never, ever wanted to know about heroin. I didn't, I just kept away from it. And a lot of my friends died and they're still dying, you know. But um, I think, well, I was a bit lucky. I felt I had a tilt mechanism. You know, I could get a bit loaded, but then I'd always cut out. Okay, that's enough, mm -hmm. and go and get straight. And after a while, you know, it sort of gets boring. Plug into the divine energy and to raise your state of consciousness and tune in to the subtler states of consciousness and all those things like walking on the water and dematerializing your body at will are just sort of things that happen along the way. So it's hard to actually uh, explain it, but it was just a feeling of just the consciousness traveling. Mm -hmm. I don't know where to, and it wasn't up, down, left or right. Um, but it was just no body there, but at the same time you don't feel as though you're missing anything. Mm. You know, the consciousness is complete.